What's up guys, Keegan here with Jordan Distributors. In this video, we will be walking you through how to install the Ghost Lock. We have developed a unique patent pending harness that has no equal. The Ghost Lock will allow you to track your vehicle from anywhere, right from your smartphone. Receive text message and email alerts if the vehicle is driven or towed, and also give you the ability to remotely disable the vehicle from anywhere. We have signed an exclusive contract with TrackMate GPS to provide tracking at an affordable monthly rate. Please note, in the event that your vehicle is stolen, you should never attempt to recover the vehicle yourself. Always contact the authorities to recover your vehicle. Never disable the vehicle while it is in motion. The ghost lock is not intended to be used to disable the vehicle for an extended period of time, such as while the vehicle is in storage. A kill switch should be installed in the vehicle to serve that purpose. For this install, we are going to start by disconnecting the battery. The ghost lock harness relays will centralize under the dash. We will start by passing the main power wire through the firewall and connect the ring terminal to the alternator charge wire located in the underhood fuse box. You may need a rod or wire fish tape to pass the wire through the firewall. The ghost lock power wire should pass through the rubber grommet to prevent it from chafing. You may need to split this grommet to pass the ring terminal through from the inside of the vehicle. This wire has a disconnect to make it easier to install. All of the other connections are made in the rear of the vehicle in the fuel pump area. The relays can be placed behind the dash with the supplied zip ties. The main harness is then tucked behind the kick panel and door sill trim back to the fuel pump area. Once to the fuel pump, you will remove the fuel pump cover by removing the four screws holding it in place. The ghost lock fuel pump connectors and harness should be passed through the fuel pump cover grommet to best protect the harness from damage. You will unplug the factory fuel pump connector from the fuel pump and plug it into the ghost lock harness. This becomes the signal wire for the ghost lock. Then plug the ghost lock harness into the fuel pump to provide power to the fuel pump. Lastly, you will have one ring terminal that will need to be connected to ground. In most vehicles, we recommend using this 10 millimeter bolt that was originally used to secure the rear seat. Any good ground location of your choice will work just fine. Please note the wires that provide power and ground to the fuel pump are the larger 10 gauge wires. Now, be sure to secure all of the wires properly with the included wire ties and tuck the harness neatly under the interior trim panels. Installation of the main harness is now complete. Now to install the tracker. We recommend doing this step last and powering on the tracker before putting everything back together. With the tracker plugged in, it will power on as soon as you connect it and will light up to indicate that it has powered on. Please note that these lights will only stay on for about three minutes and then will turn off. This is normal. This makes for a more stealthy install. Please write down or take a photo of the serial number on your tracker. You can now go ahead and set up your tracker online. We recommend doing this now so that you can confirm the tracker is working before completing the install process. We have another video to help walk you through how to set up your notifications and alerts. This how to set up tracker video can be found under the install guide tab on our website. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us via the Contact Us page on our website or by email at sales at jordandistributors.com.